Welcome Aquarius. I have just finished doing your pre-shuffle for this reading and I can tell you that what you're going to see is quite fascinating. How many of you comment on my videos saying, I don't want to hear about the past, I want to hear about the future, or I don't want to hear any negative messages. I want to hear something about the future. It's something positive. And some of you, when I'm doing live readings, say, don't, I don't want to look at the past. I don't care. I, I just want to look at the future. Here's what spirit has to say to you. Well, you can be sure that you will end up right there, right there. That's where you're going to end up. If you do not pay attention to what's going on around you. Do you want to be this person? This person had a chance to be with their soulmate or perhaps their twin flame, two cups over there. They fooled that up and it was right in front of them, right in their field of vision. All they needed to do was look at these two cups, look over the bridge, go into the house. Notice how the soulmate is no longer there. That person is not here because of this, because of the past, the drinking, this, you know, this wine that was spilled, the, perhaps the blood that was spilled, who knows, the, the strong abusive words, or simply just selfishness and someone who just wanted to look at the good things coming in in the future. This person right here, clearly I'm sure you would agree with me, made one, one of the mistakes that this person made was they didn't realize that what now they want and they thought, oh gee, I took this for granted. Now I want my twin flame. Why didn't I realize that person's worth? Everything I ever wanted was right in front of me and I didn't know it. Was it because this person was just being an idiot? No, 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 it's because they were doing what you do when you say, I don't want to hear about the past. I want to know what's happening in the future. Let me prove to you that that was this person's mistake. Their attention, first of all, was not focused on what was going on around them in the present moment, which is all that ever exists, by the way. There is no future and no past. Right now, this is it. This is all there is. The present moment. What is the present moment? It is what's in your field of vision right now. If this person had been aware of the present moment, they would have seen this. Now, there's another mistake that this person was making. It's the whole point of this card. This person is taking responsibility, realizing the mistakes that were made, realizing cause and effect, cause and effect. This person is looking back and realizing how this impacted, how the drinking impacted, how taking their partner for granted was impacting them. It's why the partner walked away or perhaps why this person, you know, um, you know, hit another car and had an accident. Maybe this person got drunk and, and injured or, or killed a three-year-old. This person is in deep regret. However, there is one action that this person is taking right now that will prevent 
suffering in the future. He is looking at the past. That's a corrective action. Hindsight makes for good foresight. It is necessary to look at two things only, the present moment and the past. Well, one small caveat to that. If you want to manifest, if you want to add things to the present moment, subtract or add things, which is simply a matter of bringing things from the unmanifest to the manifest, physically making them appear, one has to use their mind and their faith in themselves and not be asking a tarot reader what's going to happen in the future. Because, of course, what do I always say? I don't do futures. You're supposed to do them through the use of your mind. All right? That's why you, if you're, oh, the only looking to the future that you need involves faith and a clear idea of what you want. It does not involve asking somebody else, what is the destiny? That's in your control, and the mind is very powerful. But the major two other huge components are awareness of what's there. Had this person been aware of the present moment, they would not have lost their soulmate or their twin flame or their family or whoever, children maybe, you know, or their parents. This person was not aware of what was in the present. This person also continually refused to look at the past. And that's why this person isn't in the Ten of Cups. And the other mistake, of course, is this is probably the kind of person that was asking somebody what was going to happen in the future or relying on other people's opinions of what they should and shouldn't do, allowing somebody else's opinion of what profession they should be in or what hours they should keep or what kinds of activities are, are sensible or not. If you have a, a close connection with yourself, faith in yourself, you don't even have to use the word spirit because it, when you are aligned, when your intentions, your heart, your thoughts, when these things are all aligned, your, and your beliefs, your, your, your own personal feeling of what is right and wrong, you do not need to ask other people. All right? You can consider it, of course, and respect other people's opinions. But if you are continually having anxiety, for example, for example, perhaps you're doing something unusual for your profession and you know you're happy, you're at peace, but you begin to, you know, receive these messages or little comments or, you know, and you begin to feel judged by others. You know, and then you begin to think, well, maybe I should go and do this or that. And other people might plant a seed of doubt and say, yeah, geez, you know, your money's going to run out soon. Your savings, you better get a job because inflation and all that stuff. When you, that, that person is being subjected to the seeds of fear. So that is also where you go wrong. And it, it involves an awareness of what's in the present moment. Now, I'm going to go on to the reading. If I hear one comment, if you're listening to this video right now, and you comment in the future <laughs> on one of my videos, that you don't want to hear about the past. You only want to hear about the future. You know, I, I just don't know what to say. You're destined, if that's you, that's how you feel. I can guarantee you that's where you're going to be. That's the only future I have for you. Sorry to be so angry. Now let's do your reading. Now, I think what you're going to see is something about your family. And it's, it's not going to be pleasant. 
but it involves being aware of what's going on you on around you right now. And it's a channeled message from spirit. And why are you hearing this? Because maybe your friends or your family or, you know, your uh, people that uh, maybe if, if you're in a certain profession and you're governing, but maybe take all these people around you. Perhaps they don't want you to be happy for whatever reason. But you know what? Spirit wants you to be happy. And deep down somewhere inside you, I believe that you want to be happy too. And that's why you're hearing this message. And it has something to do with faith in yourself. Now, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but I strongly feel there are a couple of people that do need, I think this is a truth that you already know, but I think you're shoving it down because perhaps um, there is a narcissistic energy around you. And I think what you're going to see here, unfortunately, is that it, if this reading, I believe, is directed. It's either friends or family members, but I do believe it's family. I, I think there were others involved, but the focus of this reading, according to the pre-shuffle I saw, very, very straightforward. And it was this deck that it was coming from. All right? Let's start the reading. All right, so <clears throat> it won't surprise you, I'm sure, that the first question that I'm going to ask is what's going on around you right now? All right, for Aquarius, please. May we have an accurate message that will get all Aquarius who are watching this reading on course to their Ten of Cups and their Ten of Pentacles, happiness, peace, romance. Throw it in, whatever you want, throw it in. That's what this reading is designed to do. It's not about the future. It's about what's going on around you. And it will. if you watch what's going on around you, listen to this message. It is designed to head you, to put you in the direction. Set your compass, right, to the degree. Head you straight toward your Ten of Pence and your Ten of Cups. Spirit, what do you want to know, Aquarius, about what's going on around them? It's right here. Start with this card first. Aquarius, this is what's going on around you. So you're not in these two cards. This is what's going on around you. What we have over here, I believe, is a contract, a decision. But I believe it's a binding contract. Signed, sealed, and I believe literally sealed. Notice how this card is dark. The contract is about this. This is the purpose of the contract. This is the purpose of the contract. In the Heaven and Earth tarot deck, the Ten of Wands is called oppression. This is a person who is carrying a very heavy load. A very heavy load. It's back breaking. It's often the card of the single mother who has to do everything by herself. But this person, if one more, you know, quarter of a pound gets added to this weight, this person is going to break. They could die. They could become paralyzed. This you need to look at because this is what's going on around you. This is about you. This contract or agreement is about you. And that's the purpose of it. Now, if you're still trying to connect the dots, and you're saying to yourself, what? Somebody's trying to give me a hard time, but why? It doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter why. It's not your business that other people are toxic and unreasonable. Accept it. Don't try to analyze it because it won't make sense. It, what it means is that people around you are not aligned with truth, justice. I don't do inversions, but if I did, I'm sure this would have come up reversed. With the Ten of Wands, this is not justice. Any decision or contract or agreement or order or rule or set of rules, any, any rule here or law that has this as its purpose is wrong. I'm sure you can agree with me on that. Now, the good thing about this card, it's the third deacon of Sagittarius, and people in the third deacon of Sagittarius are mighty. They, they have a lot of determination, great strength. Luckily, this person will be able to handle this. But this situation is not just. I'm going to get some cards to clarify each just to, just so you'll have confidence that I'm right about this. So you could actually be dealing, by the way, with a Libra or a Sag, or a Libra or a Sag could be involved, or Libra or Sag rising. It's not really that important. We're going to clarify each of these cards now. Clarify justice, please. In four, clarify justice, please. In three, Sorry. Clarify justice, please. I just saw the Hierophant. In two, clarify justice, please. I just saw a person single, still surviving, looking good, looking well, supporting themselves. And in one, clarify justice, please. Clarify justice, please. Clarify, it's right there. Actually, there's, oh, there's a number of them coming out. That also, by the way, is a binding contract, an agreement. Could be two people who love each other very much. This, at, at the very least, certainly is cause and effect, an opportunity. Can also be a plan. Can also be the past. Can also be karma. Can also be what, someone wanting to get back at somebody. I'm going to just look and see what's underneath it. Death. You know, could be an unexpected ending, could be a plan to end something, could be a refusal to stop. You know, this could be something that's, it's a pattern, a pattern that keeps going and going. It's predictable. It's a pattern. There's a serpent turning that wheel. You know, there's death next to the lovers. There's somebody here who is very stressed, over worrying wrought with anxiety, wrought with insecurities, can't see what's in front of them, and they're restricted. Look at how this person, this person could be in jail. Maybe there's a plan to put this person in jail. Maybe they're being set up, you know, maybe they, maybe someone is planning on phoning the police and reporting a DUI. That's a great card on its own. This is great, you know, perhaps this is where you are right now, pe feeling peaceful, feeling very peaceful, everything balanced, you're at peace, minding your own business, you're at peace. But what's going on around you right now is this, this, and possibly the potential for a divine counterpart over there and a decision, you know. Feel that that is a binding contract. I do feel there's a plan. I think it was made in the past. This is very much like that card. And this is how you want to be and how you should be and how you deserve to be. So this reading is about how to stay in this and that. So this is what you need to look at here. Now I'm going to clarify 
the two of, uh, sorry, the ten of wands. Clarify the ten of wands for what's going on right now around Aquarius, please. Jeez, can't make that up. Bottom of the deck, ten of wands. In four, clarify the ten of wands for what's going on right now around Aquarius in three, in two, and in one. Clarify the ten of wands for what's going on right now around Aquarius. Wow. Now, this is interesting. I do believe that these energies are yours. I mean, these could be read two ways, and this is what you can do. I do believe that you have this power to, you know, to get to perhaps the, the lovers, you know, to get a completion, to get married, to get your degree, to get your business off the ground, to be successful. But it's clarifying this. So this here, this is the difficulty that is, that is the, the purpose of this contract is to apply this energy and it's in relation to this. So it, let me just translate. There is somebody around you right now, and I believe it's more than one person. Most definitely, there's three involved. We've got two people over here, another person up there. The purpose of those people, the purpose of this contract, is to make it difficult, all, almost impossible, for you to, com to arrive at your completion, to get your victories, now there's no, no, the chariot and the justice card are both cards that can be associated with with powerful energies, laws, military, government, police, that type of thing. It doesn't have to be, but those cards can be strongly associated with that. So it's possible that that something legal is is operating here. Let's, let's keep going. Okay. What else? It will become very clear now what's going on. Show me a little bit more about what's going on and the players involved around Aquarius in three. What is going on around Aquarius, please? In two. What is going on around Aquarius, please? And in one. What's going on around Aquarius right now at the present moment? Oh, now, this is the card that I was telling you about. Except it's not exactly the same. I think that this is what you're doing, okay? These are the energies that this is the impact of what's, you know, par partially what's impacting on where you are right now. So you're here, all right? I don't think that you're feeling bad at all. You think everything's fine. I think you think everything is fine right now. I don't think you think, I think you're listening to this reading thinking, this is not my reading. This has nothing to do with me. That's because you're standing there, not looking at the two cups, not looking at the present, not looking at the past. You're looking at the future. I want my four cups. I when am my twin flame gonna come in? I want it. That's you. So right now you think everything is fine. You're just looking at the future, not seeing what's what what is right in it, two centimeters away from you. Don't want to look at the past. I want to look at the future. And that's why you're stuck. That's why you're saying to me, well, you said so and so would call that. Da, 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 da. No. But did you do what I told you to do? Did you place your field of vision? Instead of looking over there at, you know, 
Did you place your field of vision looking at what other people have? Did you sit down in a room alone and think about what you are know in your heart you can manifest instead of looking at the Joneses house up there and sulking? Instead of looking at Marianne who just got engaged, sulking while you're refusing to let me do a reading on the present and the past? That's why your twin flame isn't there. That's why you feel restricted. That's why. Part of what's keeping you in this Eight of Swords is, is where your attention is right now. It's on anxiety, look, jealousy, you know, envy, pity for yourself that you don't have this, I should have had this by now, blah, blah, blah. That's what's going on around you right now. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to change the question. So we've all, I've already criticized what you're doing wrong. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, what does, I'm going to ask about somebody that's really important to Aquarius. And I'm going to ask, what is that person doing wrong? According to spirit, there's only one wrong, by the way. Right is right, and wrong is wrong, and wrong is no man or woman's right. It's that simple. There's no... There's not several versions of the truth. There's one truth. Wow. Wow. Here's what your person is doing wrong, or someone that's important to you. Someone around you is doing something that is wrong, unethical. This, you see, this behavior here doesn't matter. It's probably against the law in most countries, whatever this person is doing. Maybe it's not. But I'll tell you what, it does break spiritual laws. This person is doing wrong. They are tricking. They are deceiving. They are winning at any cost. What this person wants to do, you know what makes that person happy? That's the person around you. And don't be asking who is it. Don't be asking who is it. Because if, if you simply follow the simple rules that, I'm, that Spirit has for you in this reading, it doesn't matter. You won't need to figure out who it is. What makes this person happy is that this, which is supposed to go toward you, it's a blessing, it's yours, it has your name on it. Now, this person will never, able to, never be able to get your blessing. So the next best thing that this guy or woman can do is make sure that you don't get it. And so far that's happening. You're either here or here. But you're there and you don't even know that this is here right now. That's your blessing. This is either an ability that you have that you're not using, a passion that you have that you're not, you know, making use of because, because this could be your father or your brother or your employer or your aunt or your uncle or, or your boyfriend or girlfriend. It's somebody that's important to you that, and you might even love that person. But you're listening to other people around you. So you're not even paying attention to your own blessings. You may not even be able to see this. It could be in the unmanifest, but it's here right now. This person is, is winning in the sense that he's or she is preventing you from getting your blessing. That's the next best thing he can do. Do you know why this person can never get this and is not entitled? Because this person is not aligned with spirit and you are you are but you're not trusting yourself you're not trusting yourself you're not seeing this my favorite person in this card is you 
this person here, you know, this could be you too. This person, I believe is also for some of you. This person is being smart by walking away from that person. This person never cared about winning. This person just wanted everyone to be happy. This person has given up hope, but at least this person is walking away from that person. This person has given up hope that this person can change. This person will never have hope. This is the kind of person that, you know, could be in love with this person. This is the kind of person that asks me for a reading and wants a future. And I, I start doing the pre-shuffle, and before me, I see that they're madly in love with someone in the present. I email them to make sure I don't have the wrong person. Oh, no, but I don't want, I can't see that person because they, they did this to me. That's not fair, blah, blah, blah. Where is your heart? Where is your faith, hope that this person can change? Now, you know, one caveat to that, it, there are people, there are some narcissists out there, real, true narcissists. And in some, you know, rare cases, there is no hope. And the only way, I mean, there is always hope, but it might spend 40, you might spend 40 years you know, trying to get this person to change and get very little progress. So in some cases, you you have to remove yourself from this person's vicinity. But you don't give up hope in the sense that you can pray for them. But, you know, you may have to cut contact off. But I like this person the most back there. That person is sobbing. You know why that person is sobbing? Because they had hope. They were praying for this person. And they they really, this person is the person who wasn't manifesting for themselves. They were manifesting for blessings for this person, you know, probably for years. They're not crying because they didn't get something. They're crying because this person probably could be going to jail or something. They're in trouble. They've, they've, they've ruined their reputation. You, this person could be sobbing because this person stood them up or something, but it's mostly because they had high hopes, you know. This person has been exposed so much to narcissists, they're just, they're just you know, in a, you know, that's what's going on around you right now. This is yours, Aquarius. This is yours. Look at this. It's the Eucharist. See, it's the cops. the highest level of spiritual advancement. It's like the genie in the bottle. This is the person who is so closely aligned with spirit. They have an unshakable faith in themselves. They go around praying and, you know, creating peace everywhere and the blessings just pour in. And they don't even think, you know, they don't know where, oh well, my goodness, that's great, wonderful. They may, you know, this person may be manifesting, but they do not ever question their faith and hope P kind of person that's aligned with this prays for people without telling anyone this is the kind of person who's happy when they find out that their person won something or you know or got over a hurdle this is the kind of person that even if they have broke been broken up with that if they hear that something bad happened to the person that they once loved, who treated them terribly, it hurts them. It's, that's unconditional love. That's empathy. That's true love. So anyone out there who wants to know what's so-and-so's karma, well, that karma might be coming toward you because, you know, when you love somebody, even, you know, if they've treated you badly, you may have to permanently remove yourself from their vicinity. But when you truly love someone and you hear that something bad happened to them, you'll find that it hurts you, your heart. That means you're good. You're a good person. A lot of you, you know, some of you tell me, I've been in tears this morning. That always makes me know that, that the empathy in you guys, it's incredible. I'm not condoning going around crying all the time, but... You know, it tells me 
Some of you are embarrassed to say it. You know, you, there's so much love coming out of you. You know, it's spilling over. Don't ever be embarrassed. You feel emotional. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know to get them pointed in the direction of their Ten of Cups? And their Ten of Pentacles and their Four of Wands, whatever it is that makes you happy, whatever it is that you want. Wow. All right. Spirit's on fire today. All right. Now I want to apologize to all of you for being so stern because I want to congratulate you and so does Spirit. You may not even be aware of what you've achieved right now. If any of this is resonating, this is something that you have achieved. We've got two tens here. This is a, uh, these cards may look dark, the wheel of fortune and the ten of swords. This is an absolute bloody miracle what you've done. Let me explain. Absolute, miraculous, good work. Let me explain. Two tens, ten, ten. Tells you a little bit about what you're going to be able to see in your field of vision very soon. Ten of cups, ten of pence. And it's because what you've managed to do, what you've managed to do, whether you realize it or not, is everything that we saw in the previous cards. You have somehow managed to cut off the right people to take your attention off um, what other people are saying and judging and what you think you should be doing and the covers of magazines and your aunt asking you when if you're who's are you single when are you getting engaged blah 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 you actually I think that most of you don't care it's not well it's not you don't care but it's not if that doesn't affect you anymore because you know who you are, you know what you can manifest, and you're also aware of you, or you have been, I would say, for at least a year, maybe two. On some level, your intuition, you, you felt around and figured out what had to go. There is a permanent final ending here with the Ten of Swords. This is over, over, over. I mean, there is no more over than this. This is absolutely over. It's either perhaps you distanced yourself or ended something with a toxic person. Maybe you've lost your profession. Maybe your reputation has been destroyed and you lost your job. But whatever, it, believe it or not, it might have been a painful ending. But in some way, Aquarius... In, it, in some way, this is an achievement, and I'll show you why. I'll show you what else is over. The Ten of Wands, people making things difficult. The Eight of Swords, people keeping you restricted. The Five of Swords, people tricking, confusing you, doing unethical things, getting off on looking at, you know, you sobbing and crying. That's all the wheel karmic round and round and round and when you're in the wheel you can get hurt there's no safe place i mean you got to crawl right into the very center you you can't even you know it's impossible you suppose you could you know curl up into a ball but it's still going to turn this is not a good place to be and somehow you felt around probably through through your and you figured out you may have allowed a, a something to end. It may have been painful. But in some way, this was a massive accomplishment. Had you not allowed something to end, had you not ended something, this could be, have been painful. Maybe you had to cut off the person that you were madly in love with. Maybe you just started loving that person from afar, praying for them, hoping, you know, that things would go well. But you had to do that. You were in the Ten of Wands. 
one more straw on that back and you would have been down for good, you know. And I'll tell you what else is going on here. The people that were doing this, it doesn't matter who it is, we don't need to figure it out. It doesn't matter why they were doing it. In fact, as someone said to me yesterday, you know, that she was trying to understand um, it did have to do with family, and, and then she thought, and she really did try to understand it, and she said to me yesterday, you know, I'm kind of glad that I don't understand it, and I totally agreed with her, because that would mean, you know, that she could see the purpose or logic or something in wanting somebody to lose their job or lose their reputation or not have any money or to be starving to death or have their car, you know, broken down or what, whatever, or lose their children, you know, you get the idea. Let's not want to understand that. You don't need to understand it, but you do need to be aware that some people are like that, you know. It's too bad. It's too bad. Oh, my, you know, my boyfriend would never do that to me, but it's my family. It's my uncle. It's my, they would never do that to me. You go right ahead and stay in that eight of swords. What is your intuition telling you? And only you know the truth. It's in your gut. You know the truth. But what else has ended is the people that were trying to keep you in the Eight of Swords, in the Ten of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Strength card, all those cards that we saw, those people have failed. They have failed. Their plan has failed. You know why? Because you survived it. There's others. You're, you must be surviving. There's something that you're doing right now that's made you immune. Immune. Go ahead, make my day, is what spirit is telling. Go ahead, make Aquarius's day. Aquarius will just turn this lemon into beautiful lemonade and, you know, sell it and make a fortune. Go ahead. Hit Aquarius with your best shot and watch it backfire. Because that's what happened. That's what's happened. So I want you, and Spirit wants you to look at where you are right now. Look at what you survived. Look back at the spilled cups. And look at you. You're still standing. I bet you, you maybe you're, you're changing your profession. You know, I was uh, Zooming with a girl last night who was in really, I, I mean, she had it made. She had changed her profession. She'd cut off some family, but she had savings in the bank. You know, it worked from home, very peaceful. She was happy. It was beautiful energy. Hours went by, and I, I, it felt like 30 minutes. That's how awesome her energy was. Very calm, you know, and very aware, very aware. And, you know, the people in her situation were immediate family members. It's very painful, you know. I'm going to get one last split. Spirit, what else would you like to communicate to Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know in four to head them toward their Ten of Cups and their Ten of Pentacles if you're not already there? You may be realizing right now, my God. <laughs> My God. Oh, this is going to be an important one. Wow. I think we're going to have to clarify. This is very interesting. I, I'm already, I'm just going to guess what I think this is. I think this is not you. I think that's you. And there is progress here, too. I do believe... Um, th this person could be the person that was in the Five of Swords trying to cause you damage. This is definitely one of the people 
This could be your divine counterpart there. But the reason why there's progress is because of one thing that's going on there. That person is in regret. What that means is that they wish they hadn't have done something. They wish that that person is in deep regret. And notice the swords above that person's head. Mental turmoil, mental trap. Guess what, Aqua? That's where they wanted you. But you ain't there. Plan backfired. They're there. Now, I don't think you're happy about that because I do think that's your divine counterpart. The Three of Wands. That's where you are right now. And I can tell you right now, in, in work, there is something coming in, even if you may not see it. You may not see a speck of it right now. You may be waiting, you know, maybe someone's holding money back and you're waiting for something. Maybe you're penniless. But guess what? This person, um, it's waiting, but it's angsty waiting. You know why? Because their intuition, their gut is telling them. And, and when, you, when your gut tells you it, it's true. There's only one truth. That a ship is about to appear. And on that ship are things that belong to this person. The original theme of this card was that this is a very wealthy person who is into importing and exporting. And he does or she does own the things that are coming in. And, but it's an angsty wait. So these things are in physical existence right now. This ain't the future. This The ship with the blessings that belong to you, this person can't see them because they're at a distance, a physical distance, not a temporal distance. They exist. They could be 30 miles offshore, you know, around the shoreline. But they are existing at the same moment in time that you're waiting. So that's why it's angsty waiting. It's gut, your gut knowing it's here, even though I can't see it. That's called faith. That's called hope. That's called faith in yourself. This person doesn't need to phone, you know, Mimi or Jack or Joe. They don't need to phone anybody and say, do you think so-and-so is going to call me? This person just knows and they trust themselves even if everyone is telling them, he's never going to call you. She's never going to change. They're never going to come by. You're never going to get that acceptance letter. Guess what? All the while, it is in physical existence. But in the 3D, they can't see it. But they know that it's there. And that's where you are right now. God love you, Aquarius, for putting up with this extremely long message. Let me know if it resonated.